what buyers and sellers need to know about the appraisal gap. It's economy 101. When supply is low and demand is high, prices naturally rise. That's what's happening in today's housing market. Home prices are appreciating at near historic rates, and that's creating some challenges when it comes to home appraisals. In recent months, it's become increasingly common for an appraisal to come in below the contract price on the home. Sean Telford, the chief appraiser for CoreLogic, explains it like this. Recently, we observed buyers paying prices above list price and higher than market data available to appraisals that appraisers can support. This difference is known as the appraisal gap. Why does an appraisal gap happen? Basically, with the heightened buyer demand, purchasers are often willing to pay over asking to secure the home of their dreams. If you've been out and toured homes and fallen in love with one, you understand. Once you start to picture yourself and your furniture in the rooms, you want to do everything you can to land that property. When the appraiser comes in, they look at things a bit more objectively. Their job is to assess the inherent value of the home. So they're going to study the facts. It's important for everyone to understand that the appraiser's job in the end is to remain the unbiased third party to truly tell the client what the home is worth in the current market, regardless of decisions that have been made on the price side of things. In simple terms, while home buyers may be willing to pay more, appraisers are there to assess the market value of the home. Their goal is to make sure that the lender isn't loaning more money than the home is actually worth. It's objective rather than emotional. In a highly competitive market like today, having a discrepancy between the two numbers isn't unusual. Here's a look at the increasing rate of the appraisal gaps according to the data from CoreLogic. As you can see, in early May there was a 7% appraisal gap. If you go to this year in May, there's nearly a 20% appraisal gap. And this holds true in Utah, we're seeing anywhere from a 7 to 20% gap. What does that mean for you? Ultimately, knowledge is power. The best thing you can do is to understand the appraisal gaps and how it may impact your transaction if you're buying or selling. If you do encounter an appraisal below contract price, know that in today's seller's market, the most common approach is for the seller to ask the buyer to make up the difference in price. Buyers, be prepared to bring extra money to the table if you really want that home. Above all else, lean on us, your real estate agents. Whether you're a buyer or seller, your trusted advisor is your ally if you come up against an appraisal gap. We'll help you understand your options and handle any additional negotiations that need to happen. Bottom line is, in today's real estate market, it's important to stay informed on the latest trends. Let's connect so you have an ally to help you navigate an appraisal gap and to get you the best outcome possible. We look forward to helping you. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just type in YouTube Bryson Real Estate.